In this demonstration, we're going to talk about the new approval feature for build pipelines. So we'll start by looking at the project administration and in the build section. You will see here a new section called pipeline approvals with a default group of approvals where you can add people who are in the default group. And then you can create additional groups. For example, we're going to create approvals for the QA environment and again, um, assign specific people that are in charge of that environment, for example. All right, now that we set this up, we can go into our build area and look at the pipeline we have here. So the pipeline right now, if we look at the configuration, has two steps. And one of the things you can do now is you can click on a step and add a manual approval step here. Once you add an approval, you can also edit the approvals. Okay. And you need to first associate this pipeline with a specific group. Okay. And then you can also set what's going to happen um, after approval. So over here, we're going to do a QA approval. So over here, we're doing a QA deployment. All right, so we can save this and go back into our project administration and into the build area and say that for the QA approval, are going to need to work on this pipeline we just defined that has approval in there. Once we do this, we can go back into our pipeline and configure the approvals for this approval step. We have the list from our approval group, okay? And we can add as many of them as we want. We can say how many minimum approvals we need. We can also mark people as required uh, for approval, okay? Let's click Save. And let's run our pipeline right now. We can look into the specific run and see the progress happening in live mode. So first we're doing the package step, then we're going to do the deploy step, and then we're going to hit the approve step. If you set up email notification for the build steps, the approver would also get an email. In here, we'll get information about the specific pipeline that needs approval. <clears throat> and we can actually click on this one to go and approve it. So let's copy this link. And just to show you, if I'll take this and paste it over here, I'll end up on our pipeline. I can see the pipeline that is currently executing, number seven. I can go into this pipeline and as an approver, I can either reject or approve the pipeline. If I click approve, this would resume the pipeline execution and would continue to the next step in our pipeline. So this was a quick introduction to how to add an approval step to your pipelines.